definitely said some things that I didn't really mean and I immediately regretted but you really really pissed me off during this argument and you also said some things that I've never heard you say that were really hurtful they cut pretty deep so I guess I would also like an apology thank you I, um, I definitely want to forgive you so I do <laughs> I forgive you do you forgive me? I'm sorry. I I hate it when we fight like this. It's the worst. But I feel like fighting sometimes sometimes can be really beneficial overall in the long term because I feel like a lot of people for the sake of the peace in the relationship will not bring things up and fights give you an opportunity to talk about those things that may be uncomfortable to just cold turkey lay out on the table in the middle of a different conversation so I do think arguments can provide room for very, very important discussions to be had. I also still hate it when we fight. And I'm always really glad when we resolve. I feel like this resolution isn't necessarily ideal at the moment because although we've both apologized, I don't necessarily feel like we've completely come to understand the other's perspective and point of view and I know that that can really have a big impact on what the rest of our relationship looks like and just our day-to-day -day reality, the way we treat each other. I just wanted to let you know that I'm fully committed to continuing to try and understand where you're coming from and like how you experience reality and moving forward, how I can better respond to that and be a part of your life and yeah, sit and listen to all the planes pass by with you in peace and not yelling so loud we can't even hear them because they're pretty loud so that means we're really loud and I don't like that I don't like that we're fighting at all let alone to that degree I don't know if you can hear my voice but I'm just like I, I literally feel worn out from fighting with you and I hate you I like, can't do it anymore the way we have been so I just want you to know that like I'm gonna do my best to see your side of things as soon as possible and make sure that we're not getting to a place like we did today because I was kind of scary and just not at all what I would like to see a relationship look like in the future so anyways sorry I didn't mean to get all emotional there but it's been a hard day as I'm sure you can agree um, I <clears throat> here, but 
that I was personally gonna maybe throw on like guided yoga or a guided meditation, I genuinely have no brain power to do any of that myself, so I was gonna do a guided one. And I figured if you wanted to join with me and do it, you're totally welcome to. Maybe we could rekindle the atmosphere by simultaneously indulging in a calming activity like a guided meditation or even just like breath work. What do you think? You're into it? You know, that's something that I really love about you is you listen to my ideas and nine times out of ten you're very supportive of them and the other one time it's because my idea is absolutely bat crazy and it's probably a good thing you didn't support me because then we'd both have even worse consequences on our hands so thank you for understanding where I'm coming from as best as you can and trying to listen and validate my ideas I really appreciate that. I feel like I don't express how much that means to me enough. So thank you. I'm glad you're down to do the meditation. Um, can I go ahead and pull it up for us? <sighs> yeah, I'm honestly, I'm honestly getting a little hot. Just from like the stress of the whole situation so I feel like some slow breaths and just maybe taking this blanket off of me would really help um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up on the speakers so we can hear it and we can go ahead and follow along Hello there. Welcome to today's guided meditation. Please begin by inhaling in and taking a nice exhale. Very good. Repeat again. Inhale in and exhale. And now, take your left hand oh, and okay. place it across your chest onto your heart. Taking another inhale in and exhaling. In and exhaling out. Good. Again, in and exhale. Very good. One more time. In and exhale. Keep breathing at your own pace as we take a journey to a beautiful and very peaceful forest or field or perhaps the ocean. Find a place in nature that makes you feel serene, balanced, at home within yourself. The 
This is so peaceful. Keep breathing at your own pace. I'm already starting to feel better. We are now going to repeat some affirmations. Please repeat after me. I am enough. I am enough. I have control over my emotions. I have control over my emotions. I am worthy of feeling love and being loved. I am worthy of feeling love and being loved. I will continue to show up as my best self. I will continue to show up as my best self. I can do things that are scary. I can do things that are scary. I I am brave and courageous. I am brave and courageous. I am a good partner in my relationship. I am a good partner in my relationship. I can do anything I set my mind to. I can do anything that I set my mind to. I am enough. I am enough. I am enough. I am enough. Good. Go ahead and flutter your eyes open. Take another deep breath in and exhaling and I want you to wrap your arms around yourself. Give yourself a nice tight squeeze and join your hands in front of your chest as we bow our head. Namaste. I see you as you see me. Thank you for joining me in this meditation was a really nice short little meditation don't you think yeah the title was something about grounding I feel like really did the trick for me I feel a lot more at ease in my body and just less anxious and, I don't know, carrying that physical stress feels like it's been lifted away, at least to a certain degree. <sighs> How do you feel? Yeah, no, I am... I'm not mad anymore, are you? Okay, good. No, I'm, I'm almost completely over it. I'm more so just trying to remain aware of the impact that a fight like that has long term on our relationship and just us as people. Obviously, like I said, the compromise of our argument wasn't necessarily a full base of understanding on both sides. We kind of had to end up agreeing to disagree for the sake of not 
continuing the argument, which I think in this instance was totally valid. Totally valid. But, um, yeah, I just, I think because the resolution is a little different, it's gonna feel a little less closed moving forward. We're still gonna carry our side of things with us, and I just want to make sure that the residual effects of that don't come back and, like, bite us at a later date. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not upset with what happened. I'm more so just feeling, um, worried and, like, I care a lot about our relationship and want to make sure that it stays nice and vital and healthy moving forward. <clears throat> so, yeah. Anyways, I think you're absolutely amazing. As always, I, I know I remind you of this a lot, but I just feel really lucky to be by your side and be the person that you keep choosing over and over and over again. You've made it very clear that even when it's not convenient, I'm still your choice. And I want you to know that you're mine too, even after a fight like this. I'm never going to stop choosing you as my number one, as my top priority, aside from myself, of course. But, I mean, that's hard to have that as conflicting priorities, right? When we're in an argument, because if I only put myself first, I'm never going to care to hear your side. And I, I do care a lot to hear your side of things and just make sure that I'm listening with an open mind and not rigidly coming from a place of spite just because I don't agree with you. So, I still need to put ass- <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, my voice is hurting a little bit from yelling and just crying, but I still need to put aspects of myself aside to leave room to hear you out without my own personal bias and opinion, which can be really difficult. <laughs> really, really difficult, but I'm doing my best, and I see you doing the same, and I really appreciate that. I think that is gonna help us get really far as a couple and as people in life. You've helped me grow in ways as an individual that I don't think I would have been able to outside of a relationship, so thank you for even in hard times giving me the opportunity to better myself and just continue to make tiny adjustments and improvements to who I am and staying on track to who I want to be because of those tiny adjustments and improvements. I feel like I'm rambling, I'm sorry. Um, is there anything that you wanted to say, I would love to listen and just be here for you. Is there anything that you wanted to tell me? Mm hmm Sure, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember you telling me once before that you had felt like that. Has this been a reoccurring thing for you? I feel like if it was super regular, you would have told me about it sooner, but I could be wrong. <laughs> Babe. Tell me that you felt like that. Well, yeah, I, I, I hate to hear that you've been feeling that way. It's okay. It's 
okay to cry. You know you can come to me with absolutely anything, right? Yes. I don't care if you are self-proclaimed as the strong one, okay? You deserve to be vulnerable and soft and fragile just as much as I do and am. I take full advantage of my ability to do that with you, so why are you not doing the same? Okay, you deserve Okay. Just let it out. I feel like we're both just completely emotionally exhausted and drained, and a nap would be really beneficial right now? Would you agree? I know that it can be <clears throat> kind of hard for you to fully release the feelings from a fight and just relax. So, let's just take it slow and, you know, one minute at a time, try and get you from this notch of emotion down to this notch and then down another notch and soon we'll be at ground zero, neutral, not emotionally impacted or affected by anything, you know? Yeah. There. Try to just... on the feeling of my fingers running over your skin and just like in the meditation we can take some deep breaths is smoothing out no more worry and no more doubt let your mind remember a time you knew the fear so closely, so softly it whispered its way to your ear, hear me now, said the fear. But my dear, you don't have to listen any longer. Just know, wherever you go, I'll be the one waiting there for you. And whenever 
you feel blue, I confess I'll be true to no one but you. Listen to the lullabies. Close your eyes. Mm-hmm. Listen to my love. Overwhelmingly much. So much. Okay. I can't imagine my life without you. That's why ever since we met, no matter what has happened between us, I've done absolutely everything, everything in my power to keep you by my side myself in the position of the person you want to be there no matter where you decide to go. And like I said earlier, I feel so lucky to be in that position. So lucky. And I hope you know, for me, you're in the same spot. I know you probably don't ever doubt that because I'm constantly telling you how much I love you and appreciate you and just think you're the absolute best thing that's ever happened to me, but it bears repeating because it's important that you know and that you believe me, more importantly. So... Hopefully you don't ever get tired of me reminding you that you're the one. And even when we fight, it doesn't change that in the slightest for me. Can I have a hug? Thank you. I 
love our hugs. <laughs> They're one of my favorite things in the world. I just feel so safe and at home, at peace.
I really don't know what I would do without you. I'm trying not to think about what would have happened if our fight had continued to escalate without us resolving it, but I can't help but feel like <clears throat> we would have gone to a place where we were saying things that would in turn cause us to feel differently about each other. Um, I can't imagine what today would be like if I was going to lose you. Instead of sitting here and feeling the air clear itself, which is a pretty incredible feeling, to noticeably watch the tension dissipate from the atmosphere because both people are internally, individually working to bury the hatchet in a healthy way that doesn't leave unresolved issue, which of course... <clears throat> Even though we agreed to disagree, I'm I'm happy with that decision because I don't think what we were fighting about was serious enough for us to even need to revisit it, even though we don't agree. It's okay not to agree on everything. I feel like a lot of people don't realize that. Like, it's okay to have your own opinions and your own beliefs, and especially on trivial things, like one we were fighting about, it's honestly better not to agree, especially on everything. Because if you agree on everything and then you do find something you disagree on, it shatters your world. So better to have complexity from the get-go, right? Makes for a more interesting dynamic. And I think the range of agreements and disagreements, agreements on this side, disagreements over here, the range provides a very full and vibrant relationship between the two parties. That is, of course, if they can find a healthy way to communicate those differences, disagreements, agreements, even. I'm really, I'm really glad that we had the chance to talk about everything. Yeah, thank you for taking the time, sitting down with me, hashing it out. I really, really care about you, and I... I just said, can't imagine what this would feel or look like if it hadn't ended the way it has right now. <clears throat> so thank you for doing your half of the work in fixing this disagreement, resolving the issue. I couldn't do it without I feel like I haven't really been smiling a whole lot since we started this conversation <laughs> or laughed. 
So let's change that. Let me just put my best mood in place and we'll ride from there. in here. Do you want to join me? Mm, yeah, in the room, I think. Although I love it in here, the couch isn't quite as big, so if you're gonna come cuddle with me, I think the bed would be the best. <clears throat> I will say I'm, I'm going to take a nap though nothing else. I'm way too tired for anything like that. So, if you're coming in there with me, it's it's because we're going to sleep. You got that. <sighs> okay. Good. <laughs> oh, wow. Time flies. You realize that we were gonna be talking for this long? <laughs> yeah, I did not think it had been like 45 minutes, but it has. Um, honestly, at this point, I don't know. I feel like it's a little bit too late for a nap. I feel like we should just try and stay awake and then make dinner and go to bed early. What do you think about that? I can make dinner. Mm hmm It's no problem. It's fine. I mean, you're welcome to help, but I can do it. Most of it. <laughs> it's all good. Mm-hmm. you wanna... No, if we watch a movie, you're definitely gonna fall asleep. Okay, well, <clears throat> let's maybe go on a walk, then? What do you think about that? Like a little sunset walk before dinner? Yeah, I think it could be good. We could just walk in silence, listen to the planes and the birds. That idea. What do you genuinely think? Okay, I just wanted to make triple sure that you're actually into it and not just being agreeable because you do that sometimes. So, sounds good. Um, I'm gonna get my shoes on then and we'll go. What do you want for dinner? Pasta. What kind of pasta though? Like white sauce, red sauce, something in between, an orange sauce. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, vodka pasta is one of my favorites. It could be really good. I'll make that. But I don't think we have vodka. Are we having a night tonight? <laughs> it's
it's a weekday. I don't know if that's a good idea for us. I don't think tomorrow's versions of us will be very happy about that decision from tonight. So maybe we should not do that. Let's plan that for a different night where I can fully prepare. Mm -hmm. I need to eat a little bit more within the day before we do that. But vodka pasta sounds really good. I would love to make that. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get my shoes on then. And yeah, I'll meet you out there for a walk. No, not like outside, outside, like out in the living room. Silly. What do you mean? Why are you being so weird and like you don't know our normal routine? Yeah, that's really strange. It's like, it's like this is the first time we're talking or something, which it's clearly not. I mean, we live together and I see you every day, so why are you acting like you've never seen me before? And like, what I'm saying to you makes no sense. You're so weird. Okay, you know where the living room is, right? It's, it's just right out there. Okay, I'm gonna go put my shoes on. <laughs> and I'll, I'll meet you out there when I'm ready or, or when you're ready. <laughs> okay. <sighs> what a long, long talk. Oh my god. I feel like we've been at this all day. So I'm glad we're going to get out of the 